Hello, Happy New Year. My name is Brittany and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the things I'd like to crochet in the coming year. It is just about 2024 and I am looking forward to the new year. I've been crocheting for about a year now so I'd still consider myself a beginner but I do feel like I am fairly competent when it comes to crocheting but there's a lot of things that I haven't tried yet that I would like to in 2024. I am feeling a little bit burnt out in general but also with crocheting after the holidays. Christmas just passed and I crocheted a lot of gifts for loved ones. I think I'm just trying to find some inspiration or figure out what I want to do next. I do have a couple works in progress that I'd like to finish in the new year, but um, let's go ahead and get started with this list of things I'd like to crochet. The first thing is something I'm probably going to finish today, and it's one of those ear warmers. Um, I only have about two rows left in it. I've made a couple of these so far, but I've given those away, so this one I want to be for myself. And I'm just going to do two more rows, and then I will sew the ends together like this, and turn it inside out, and then it'll make a nice little Andy's headband. I think I'm using the YouTube tutorial from uh, CJ Design. So that will be a quick one to start off the new year, or like I said, I might finish it today, depending on what I do after I'm done recording this video. Uh, the other thing that I am taking with me into 2024 is a big project and one that I probably won't finish for another couple months maybe. I am doing a vlog video about this so when I am finished with it I will be having a whole video talking about it but it is this giant blanket that I started in November. Um, try to get it all in the shot. It's very wide, um, and so far not too tall, but I am looking to make it like a full-size blanket, and it will be my first full-size blanket that I have ever crocheted. Uh, the first blanket I've crocheted was for a baby, and babies are a lot smaller than adults. I think this will end up fitting like a full-size mattress. Um, I did not mean to make it that wide when I started crocheting it, but it's kind of where I wound up and I'm just going with it. It's nice to have a nice big project to work on where I don't have to like pay too much attention. Um, so I'm definitely going to finish that in 2024. I call it my emotional support blanket. Another thing I like to crochet in 2024 is a sweater. I've never crocheted an article of clothing before and I really want to crochet a sweater and also a sweater vest. I'm wondering if I should start with a sweater vest because uh, then it won't have sleeves but I'm not sure. I want to crochet something I'm actually going to wear because I've been doing some cleaning lately and purging of my material possessions that so quickly and easily accumulate and I'm just like tired of having crap or having things that I just have stuck in my closet that I never use or wear or any of that. So I want to make sure it's a sweater or a sweater vest that I'm actually going to like and wear. There's a couple videos I've been looking at for sweater patterns. Uh, I'll link them in the description because I don't remember off the top of my head um, who the creators are, but there seems to be like a few different approaches to constructing a sweater. But one of the yarns that I have that I'm looking at potentially making a sweater vest out of is this beautiful variegated yarn. Um, it's I Love This Yarn brand and this is in the color Spring Green, or the pattern I should say. And it is a um, 4 medium weight yarn for a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Um, I really like this. I have a few of these and I've wanted to use it for... Um, a special project, so I'm thinking maybe a sweater vest, and maybe if I use this, um, I'm thinking of either doing like a white ribbing or maybe a blue or green. I don't know. Or it might be, it might look kind of nice with like a black. I don't know. I really, really want to make a sweater or a sweater vest, so I'll probably work on that sometime during this winter um, or spring. 
but I know once summer comes I'm probably not gonna want to crochet a sweater. <laughs> Another thing I would like to crochet this year is a scarf for my grandmother. She requested it in the color powder blue. I've made a scarf for my mom in like an olive green color and I gave that to her for Christmas and when my grandma saw that she said that she would like a sweater because I told her I want to crochet something for her as well and she requested powder blue so I'm going to be making my grandmother a scarf in that color. I don't have a yarn yet but I will be going to the store to get that. Another thing I would like to crochet this year is one of those flower coaster sets. So like each flower is a coaster that lays flat but then when you bunch them all up and put them in like a crocheted container they kind of look like a bouquet of flowers. I've seen those on Pinterest and YouTube and I'd like to try it myself. I'm thinking that I'd probably crochet that as a gift to someone else but I really want to try it. I think they look really cool and I like how they're versatile. So they're decorative but also practical and I like that. Something else I'm looking at crocheting this year is um, sort of like a doily runner. I tried out these flower coasters. I want to try maybe doing more of these flowers all in the same color and then sewing them together kind of um, like a runner or something that you would put on top of a dresser or an end table and I think that would be really easy and I think it would look really pretty as like just like a decorative accent for something like on here or on top of my bookshelf. So that's something else that's in the back of my mind to crochet and these flowers are really easy. I don't remember how long they took me but probably like 30 minutes maybe. I know that like once I got the hang of it they worked up pretty fast. I'd also like to crochet a collar maybe. I was just looking this up the other day sort of like a Peter Pan collar and it would just be something that you would like button around your neck and it's literally just the collar part. The one thing I'm not sure about with making that is if it would look good. Um, I'm trying to think of like what clothing I own to wear that would look good with. I'm thinking like plain t-shirts or something like that or like shirts that like come up like this, not v-necks, but I don't want to make that if I don't have anything to wear it with, otherwise it's just kind of like a waste. Or I could give, him, give it as a gift to someone, maybe. Another thing I saw that I think would be cool to crochet is this person, and I think they knit this, so I'd have to come up or look it up how to do this, but they had it like a neck cowl, and then it had like an attached bib almost that came down to a point, and you would wear that underneath your jacket because and I thought this was genius when I saw it. Um, so often when I wear a jacket, I'll wrap my scarf around and I'll zip it up and then there will be this like little V triangle shaped right here where the scarf isn't covering and my jacket isn't covering. So when I saw this on Instagram, I thought it was just like the greatest idea ever where you put the neck cowl on and it has a bib so when you put your jacket on, you don't have any of that airflow hitting your collarbone. So I wanna maybe try that. I'm wondering if I could come up with how to do it on my own, using my own uh, wits. But I'm sure there's an instructional video on how to do that on YouTube because there's pretty much a YouTube video for everything. Last thing on my list is perhaps a slouchy hat or beanie. I made a hat last year as like a trial run and it was okay. I just used whatever yarn I had and I am not really crazy about how it turned out design wise but also like it's a little tight around the brim and then it just kind of like sticks straight up. Um, and I want to I wanna crochet like a hat that's a little bit more slouchy or like isn't so structured. And I need to look up like what kind of yarn is best for that because I don't know like what affects like how structured or slouchy a hat is. And then the last part of this video is just showing off some yarn that I would love to use. Um, I just got this yarn for Christmas. It's Yarn Bee. It is fleece light in the pattern Wonder Lodge. And this is 97% acrylic and 3% polyester. It's a five bulky weight for an eight millimeter crochet hook. And it's so soft. I have two of these. I really want to use it for something special because it's just 
really soft and really pretty. I'm wondering if this would make a good hat, like I was just saying, or I don't know, I'm not sure. But this is really pretty and I wanna use it. And then I also have this really beautiful yarn be soft and sleek chunky um, yarn. It's 100% low pill acrylic. It is a five bulky weight for um, a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And it's in the color sage. I really love this color. I think it's so pretty and I like, I love this yarn, this chunky low pill fiber yarn. Um, and I have it also the same brand in this olive green color. Um, so I have another skein of this olive color. I think that they would be really pretty together. And then I also have this Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. This is black. Um, this is a form medium weight, but I'm thinking that this sage, olive, and black together would look really good. So I want to do some project combining these colors, but I just don't know what yet. These are some like yarn that I've recently gotten for my birthday in November, and I want to use it, but I'm kind of hanging on to it for a special project. Um, but I think I will do this for a sweater vest or sweater. But yeah, that's what I have in mind for crocheting in the year 2024. I don't want to give myself too many projects to crochet because I'm kind of like moody, like I'm a mood reader and I'm also a little bit of a mood crocheter. So I don't want to crochet something if I'm not in the mood to do it. So I want to definitely give myself space to try new projects as I come into the mood to do them. And as I see new and exciting ideas on Instagram and YouTube as so often happens, it's kind of like a blessing and a curse to have access to so many free crocheting tutorials because it's free information and I'm completely self-taught from YouTube. But on the other hand, it's also really overly exciting and overwhelming because there's just so many possibilities and I wanna try them all and I don't have the time or the resources to do them all. It's a delicate balance of enjoying it but having some restraint and not overloading myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a happy new year and feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to crochet in the coming year. So, bye!